Good morning. We're going to start our day. The house is absolutely mm -hmm. trashed. Um, I had managed to keep the house in pretty good condition for most of the week and then some days just the ball just drops and I can't stand up with everything. Look at this poop explosion from last night. I need to get a bigger bigger bin to last the night. Mm. Homework seems to work a bit better in the mornings these days than the afternoons when we're tired. Cat always prefers shower water to her own water. I can hear babies woken up so I got halfway through getting ready which is still luxurious without a baby on me. Okay, okay, okay. Hello. What are you doing, Mommy? I'm trying to brush my hair. Beautiful day today. What do we got today? Mandarin, carrot beans, cookies, and got marmalade on the bread today. She alternates between marmalade and Vegemite. Still heaps to go, but much better now. 17 past 8, we've got 8 minutes before the first bell rings. Who thinks we're going to make it on time? Yeah? I want to see the baby in this. I'm eating muesli that I'm pouring on top of a little tub of yogurt. Nice. Are you gonna do another smile for the camera? Are you gonna do one more? Do a little smile? I am just breastfeeding on the bed. Noisy baby. Feels like a lifetime has happened between my last recording and now. Um, cleaned up and everything and went to a friend's birthday lunch. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it with baby in the car and everything, but I was just like, just try. And I can always just stop and go home if it doesn't work. But baby was doing okay, okay, okay. And then when I got pretty close, she started crying and that was horrible. But made it a lot of the way fine. So we went. I was quite stressed about the ride back. But she was fine. I'm learning some tricks. No, I can't even call it tricks. It's just it worked today. It might not work tomorrow. We just are home now from the school run. <sighs> I'm going to try and talk through this without getting choked up. That's not going to work. Baby just had a very horrible car um, trip. You know, it's one thing for a baby to cry in the car seat, but this was so bad. Um, the cries turned into screaming and the screaming turned into this, like, it sounded like she was drowning, this wet gargling in her throat. And that combined with the screaming she couldn't catch her breath. It just sounded like she was literally like choking and there was nowhere to pull over. Oh, look. So I can see. I just pulled a little string. They were so big. Just pulled it the It's around 6 p.m. PM. We've been eating and just feeding baby. Baby's fussiness has increased. It's time to get Penny through the bath and into pajamas and teeth brushed and into bed 
uh, cold first. Then hot. Then hot. She's learning how to run the bath herself. Let's see how we can manage nighttime routine with both. Hello. Off to make yet another marmalade toast. She doesn't normally request it this much. I think it's because there's not that many exciting other options in the house. I have not been able to get to the shops with the babies driving being so bad. Got some cereals and finished the last of the pasta today. Got some yogurt and some muesli and toast. So she wants another marmalade toast for dinner. And she wanted half a cup of milk to finish off her dinner. Baby is usually asleep by now, but I think her sleeps are out of whack because she had such a terrible car drive and was exhausted and had a nap from that. She's not feeding too well on me. I think she's too tired to do the work, but she seems hungry, so I'll make her a little bit of formula um, and see if that puts her to bed. She does look very tired, but she's fighting sleep a lot. Penny is getting her pajamas dressed. It's half an hour past Penny's bedtime. She's only just gone down. Well, I think she's still awake. It's just been one of those evenings where she keeps coming out and I'm thirsty and I'm not sleepy and my throat hurts and all these things. Um, yeah, so I think she's finally in there for good, we hope. And she's just woken up. I was hoping she was asleep for good too. There's a lot of cleaning to be done. It's just constant. Even though I try to stay on top of everything, it's one step forward, ten steps back. Look at my hair. What is going on? I'm rough playing with Penny. It is 8.30. I've been resettling Annabelle. Um, and I've just been catching up on my phone, talking to my mom and Jason. He passed his rig man test today. He's got another exam tomorrow, the poor guy, and he's got a blistering headache. Um, as tough as my season is, he's got a real tough season up there in Toowoomba as well. I've just been catching up on my phone quickly because I know Jason needs to go to bed soon. Um, so now that I'm all caught up with messages and my phone, I'm getting lots of good advice from my mum about Annabelle and the car seat. I'm feeling really a bit, what's the word, forlorn, disheartened. Hopeless sounds dramatic, but I just don't see a solution to the baby problem um, in the car. I don't see a solution, and it's a bad problem. <sighs> I think I should pray and give it up to God and expand my faith and somehow just trust, trust, trust. Somehow, even though I can't see a solution, God is going to help me. Good morning. This will be my last video. 24 hours later, I had a very a good night's sleep. She only woke up twice, and the first time she resettled, the second time, two hour wake window. Still very good compared to what it's been. Well, we're gonna go get ready for the costume parade, gonna make some breakfast and spend some time with the Lord. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.